suddenly that you know there's a scientific field which is asking what is intelligence in a way that could inform us about our own intelligence, animal intelligence, and machines that could have intelligence as well. For me, that was like a revelation. In a way, I don't care about building the next gadget. I want to understand intelligence. That's what got me into this field, yes. right? That's what emotionally has been driving me for all those years. What, what is it? Mostly the transfer of knowledge has been from brain sciences to AI, because this is the inspiration, right? But I think we are already witnessing a reverse arrow, uh -huh. okay. where the ways of thinking that we have in machine learning can become inspiration, suggested theories, um, validation tools for brain sciences. There's a misconception about intelligence, which is that it's like a one-dimensional thing, like IQ. This is wrong. For sure, we need to clearly explore many different directions, and I have a lot of respect for my colleagues who bring other ideas, and I get a lot of inspiration from them. Uh, but I think there's a bit of a social battle here, schools of thoughts and so on, and, and I think we should step away from this and, and just think about the science and understanding. And what are we... It's not about like who's right or who's wrong. We need to get to down to the truth of what is intelligence. The good news is we now have a lot of intellectual tools, both coming from brain sciences who study people who study consciousness in a scientific way, not, not the, the, the mystical. And uh, on, in our camp, the tools like attention mechanisms in neural nets, which can come together, I think, to move, off, move, move us in a sort of completely new territory. Mm -hmm.